this morning we had our first January embryo calf born and so we I came out and checked this morning when I was checking and uh, went and made an ear tag and all that kind of stuff now we're gonna come back uh, and process the calf we're gonna ear tag it and we're gonna weigh it and uh, just make sure everything's good like make sure it's nursed and so when I check this morning I always make it a habit to look at the cow's udder if, especially if the calf is pretty fresh and this morning the cow the recip's udder was really even and everything so when I come back uh, and that's the recip over there and when I come back you can see those front two teats have been, are, are not even like the back two teats which they were even this morning so I'm a, I know that the calf has nursed but here in just a little bit I'll show you another way uh, if you want to come around the back here say you don't know that the ca uh, calf is nursed for sure one good way to one good way to check it out is you can come around here to the back side of this calf and right here under his tail around his rear end you can kind of scratch it uh, for a little while and see and this will cause a reaction for that calf to poop it kind of simulates that the the, um, the cow, calf's mother that would be licking it and things like that and so um, after a little bit it'll cause this calf to poop and if the calf's got yellow poop you're good to go and so that's just an extra way to check it i don't know if we're going to sit here long enough to to make that happen but that's a good way to check if, if you're not positive if the calf is nursed. And so since the calf was born this morning, uh, we always tag and weigh these calves within 24 hours. A lot of times we're doing it within several hours of birth. And so check them and make sure they nurse by the time they're 24 hours old. So if, if we're tagging and processing and weighing these calves, scales whatever it may be or you can use a tape like we have here so this is a little heifer calf and this calf is this calf can get up and walk it's just really gentle and, and so it's a good one to practice on one side for bulls one side for heifers it measures it and then the little measurements correlate to a birth weight and so I'll do that. right where the hair meets the hoof yeah, if you see that right there that's where we're going to be measuring around the outside around the uh around the hoof there and so we'll bring it we won't we're not going to pull it tight we're just going to pull it snug but we're not going to cinch it down or anything like that we're just going to get it right here and this calf is 61 pounds if you see that right there's 61 pounds so we're good there. What I'm going to do is get my trusty calving book out. It's my official calving book. So this morning when I was checking it, I kind of threw my records under what this calf was and the re by the recept that it was out of and, and all that kind of stuff. So I put it in my book here. It's 61 pounds, right? So if we look at our branding book, we're going to tag this calf. I'm going to get the tag out where you can also see it but if we look through we use our branding book to kind of help us this calf was born this morning 1 5 of 2020 it's a female sired by 146 over 8 and its donor mother is a 392 over 8 and so I put a little asterisk over here because it's a uh, embryo calf just for my knowledge but then we're looking at I uh, gave it's an embryo calf uh, but it's still I get to take a calving ease score and the calf vigor score this calf I think for our, if we look in the back and want to see what those vigor scores are I've got my handy udder and teat scores here calving ease scores light birth weight calf calf calved unassisted so for a calving ease score it's going to get a number one no difficulty no assistance got a number one we look at our calf vigor scores. This is just something that I keep a record of myself. 
Um, and uh, number one would be a very vigorous calf, quick to stands, nurse on its own. One of those calves, you'd be like, man, I can't believe that calf got up there and nursed that quick. Two, I'd say normal vigor for a calf, acceptable time to stand and nurse. This calf did just fine. That's what I give it as a number two. And so we weighed it. I gave it a number six. The recip that this calf belongs to is 11 over four beef master cow. And um, it's a female and it's owned by Molly Jo Cotrer. So this is Molly's calf. And we weighed it, got our everything filled out in our Becky's book. So I get ready to tag it. And the information that we have on the tag is the way we tag our calves and you can do it any way you want to, but just so it's easy for you to understand and read when you're riding around checking calves, checking cows, showing people calves, whatever the case may be, uh, something where you can easily identify those calves and have a lot of information on there that you may need. So up here in the skinny part of the tag, I've got a number one. That stands for this month, January, or the month they were born in. So put number one. Here in the big number in the middle, 392 over eight, would be the donor mother of this calf. And 392 over 8 is a 191 daughter out of a 380 daughter that was uh, we showed and did a really nice job. The sire of this calf would be 146 over 8. And then the recip mother that this calf belongs to that we saw in the video just a second ago is the Beefmaster Cow 11 over 4. And so on the back side of this tag, when we looked in the, in the uh, branding book, this is the, uh, this is the 56th heifer born in the uh, BRC program. So we've got, got her, that's what we're gonna tag her with a 56 and this is what she'll end up being branded uh, when we get ready to brand this calf at weaning time. And we're also gonna brand her with the ownership brand. She'll have the, uh, on her left hip, she'll have the BRC brand, but on her left shoulder, she's gonna have the M brand because she belongs to Molly Jo Cotrera. So it just kind of helps us get them all tagged and uh, identified properly. And so what we're gonna do is Tag placement is always an important issue to me, just attention to detail and, and things. So we're gonna put a, do is put it, and it's, it's always good to be, if, you want to, if you're not sure exactly where to put it, I like to put it kind of center of the ear or where this calf would, where it looks natural, right here, center of the ear. You don't want it way down here. You don't want it down here at the bottom because those are spots where it could easily rip out. So I like to go right between these, you can see these ribs in the ear. I like to go right between the center rib, the center two ribs, about center of the ear. You can kind of see when, if, if you want to just check it out, put it right here in the ear and just kind of see how it would lay naturally. So that's probably, that's the spot I like to do it because you don't, like I said, you don't want it way down here, you don't want it way up in the head or anything like that. So you can put it right here in the center and that's where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to put it back on the tagger here. About right here is where I like to put it. Just a little bit. It's real floppy here, here. About right there, and you gotta be, be careful not to do it really quickly pull it out. That's where we're that's where we're at. Say this calf's been laying here really, really quiet and gentle for us. And, doing a really nice job say I need to get this calf up for a re one reason or another a Brahmin calf um, you don't want to make it mad and so well he got up on his own so what I'm gonna do just to show you <laughs> I'm gonna lay him back down and if I needed to get him up I wouldn't pick him up by his ears I wouldn't pick him up like this because you make a Brahmin calf mad best way to pick a Brahmin calf up keep him happy don't make him mad don't hurt him and come back here by his tail and if he needs a little assistance from his chest, you go right ahead there, and you're good to go. And so they've been tagged and weighed, so he can go on back. She she can go on back with her mother there, and then gonna be good to go. So, anyways, just sharing some tips with you today, and we thank you for for joining us.